a story flani hapo sijuini utawi sijuini i'm not really sure what was happening there but it's not breakfast conversation so we're not going to do it but what we're going to do is we're going to reintroduce you to the show in case you have just tuned in or you've been with us and you know not cut those sauce sometimes ni vizuri kukatiwa nani hata tunikatie at what five on facebook at what five channel on twitter hashtag is why in the morning now the next guys watch a tu mungu tu anione tu niseme tu kweli if my <laughs> esteem was not high mm? kama singejua the lord has made me fearfully and wonderfully saini ngekuwa nasikia wewe wengine aiko she's so pretty oh my god and she's so talented i love to dance with swahili there is a pika i just i just can't i just can't but it is okay hata tunaweza funzwa si ndio yeah hi hi how are you Friendly. karibu sana sir you are so phenomenal and you. and you look like that ni kama tuko na misconception plan like if someone is really good at a couple of things hafai kuwa mrembo hiyo really so you see you broken <laughs> you broken things or broken glass ceilings so anyway, uh-huh. please do introduce yourself to the audience ah uh, okay my name is melissa lesilale also known as pambo mel i am a mother of two a hair stylist a makeup artist a creative uh, sorry a commercial model yeah <laughs> oh and I cook. Yeah. Oh my god. kidogo ni change dini. Si lazima mswahili. Eh si lazima. Please give me the recipe ndio watu wangu at least wakaenga tu rada. Ah it's okay. Okay. All right. So you have a lot of things that you are handling right now. Maybe if I can ask, is it difficult being a parent and and doing all these things? Sana sana creativity. Unajua sometimes the jobs that are very mundane, unaamka tu the same thing you did yesterday is the same thing you do tomorrow. But yours involves a lot of creativity. Is it difficult? Um so so it depends cuz um there are times actually creating you need like um, I was telling you earlier like sometimes you're not in the right space to create cuz um maybe you're stressed or you're overworked or something and then now you go to the kids and they need you and they need your attention and you know so you have to put one away but it's all about balancing mm-hmm. it's all about balancing and being disciplined and um knowing this time for my kids this time for work this you just have to find a balance hmm. yeah <laughs> okay all right guys miss it just so yes kunta kanda nda confirm his story i'll tell you how it went how it was how it's going mm. eh si yeah. raisi what's your favorite uh, thing about what you do like for example i i do voice overs i okay. am, i present Okay. radio Anyway, and sometimes I, I model in and out. Okay. And I, I like all the forms that I express myself. But the yeah. one in a penda kabsa ni ku act. Mm-hmm. Like I can be anyone at any one time. I can wear what I want. Like bora to script mini and baby and I put myself in there. It's yeah. a wonderful escape for me. Ah. What's your favorite thing about all your talents? Um my favorite thing is of course I love the commercial aspect of it because you get to act different people. Um I love the hair aspect of it also because Okay, I'm this person who doesn't like being defined by one word. I feel I believe in diversity. Like I can be anything I want to be. So I have a soft spot for hair because <laughs> I feel like hair is so um people perceive it like it's just hair, it's just lines and you go. But there's so much that comes with it. So the fact that I can sit down and create something I like i create like from something and that hair will speak what i'm trying to say that i think is so dope for me mm-hmm. yeah has it been a challenge dealing with african hair mimi let me just pass no testimony <laughs> i never used to like my hair i used to think it was just too big it was so out there like kiniona the first thing you yeah. see is my hair and you already judged me <laughs> and it was such a big problem for me until i decided you know what it's fine let's just leave it the way yeah. it is sonika toa kem kwanza because at some point i think it was compulsory for everyone to have to chemical have chem, yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know why they told us that <laughs> but now my afro puff type situation yeah, yeah. the type c that type <laughs> Hey, you don't even For know. C. How do you play around with that? Because me as I'm can me do it to ah, to shake to up at the end to pussy. How do you you know, how do you see African hair and then play with it? How I see it is um every hair type can have um 
a hairstyle. That's how I look at it. Mm -hmm. And one, products help also, by the way. It's not about just, because I can be, like someone can have hair that actually I cannot maneuver around it till it's in a certain state. Mm -hmm. So I have to make that hair to be in a certain state for me to be able to maneuver around it. So of course, products help. But then the notion of we have to, you know, maybe do chem or my hair is relaxed by day one by the very fact that mm. I cannot <laughs> struggle with, I don't like being Natural blated. Age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, every hair type can be done for something. So using the right products also help a lot, even managing the hair, even me as a stylist to like maneuver around it. And then also I like taking our like the Africanness that we have, I like it spoken in our hair. So like creating even Jasmine, like Aladdin, you know, like that was like an Arab cartoon back in the day. <laughs> to Manuel Yeah, Coco. to Manuel Et Coco. But I'm like, actually we have kinky extensions nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, that can bring the Africanness in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just, I guess just working around it and just being creative and, but products actually help. Yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between a hairdresser and a hairstylist? Oh, I've been asked that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, I do both. I do from Ghanaians to weaving to anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the difference for me, I think, is, you know, someone can actually do very nice condros on you or a nice weave, mm -hmm. but tell them to style for a function cannot. They just know how to put it up or put it down. Mm -hmm. So that's now the hairstyle, it is the creative side of hair, I think. I think. Don't judge me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. And then the hairdresser is the, you know, plating, the braiding, the cornrows, the what. That's why most people, they have their hairdressers that they go to every month, every week, every two weeks. Mm -hmm. But now when it's their wedding day or there's a function, they have to go uh -huh. to a stylist. Yeah, because doesn't necessarily mean that when you can plate hair that you can style it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are people who do not know how to plate hair, but they actually know how to style the hair. Yeah, because yeah. mm. I have to balance your face, mm. I balance the volume of your hair, I see your, you know, like, just actually working with, that's why like, uh, someone comes and uh, brings me a photo of like, I want this, and I'm like, um, can we change because <laughs> it doesn't go with your, mm -hmm. no, it, of course I won't say it that way, but mm -hmm. I'm like, can we try something else? Like, give me three different looks that we can work with so that eventually, because eventually I want you to look nice. Yeah, I want a style that matches your face, that matches your, you know, skin type, everything. You're very diplomatic. <laughs> I imagine you only took it to Instagram, I want this, but the way it will, you know. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. Tell me about you being a commercial model before we come back to the hair. Commercial model. Yeah. Um, do you do it for the hair or for clothes? Like what exactly is the focus? The commercial model part of it is I actually uh, am the model mm -hmm. in several commercials. I've, I've done several commercials and at the same time, sometimes I get double. Like I'm the model and I'm the hairstylist of that commercial. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So na malisa you just go fix something and then you know go wow. go and set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so it's 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 um it's the hair styling part of it sometimes, and it's the me being the model. Yeah. You're not shy at all. You can't say takang you shy shy. I take. I love to say some of you but you have to pay me. We see you in the lake. We get silly pop pop. At least that. You talk in an accent, at least, guys. Yeah, I, people go to America for three days. When I read them, I'm like, water. I'm not going to go. 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 Tanzania, my Tanzania Tanzania Okay, tell me about the most exciting venture you've had as a hair stylist. I think when I was in Bella Dinton, ask one day, just say, Mom. Um, though you could relate to Kidogo, winning TCB runway uh, show back mm -hmm. in. 29, 2018, 2018, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I won um, Best Natural uh, Hair Stylist in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that was something. Yes, and then I think... I whisper. <laughs> Meaning, I couldn't shout. I couldn't shout. And I also think one of the 
there's that and there's um, having to do my first movie disconnect the movie I did here for the movie at uh, towards the That's really big towards the end of it mm -hmm. yeah and then making Kate actress actually that was like I'm a fan. By the way, I love that woman. <laughs> You're a fan, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I highlights. I talked to you a little bit on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And I saw Mdezi Makeup follows you. Do you know? Do you even know? Do you? I yani, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do da, da. Yani, I am struggling as Valentine to follow people, but Hash is being oh. followed by verified accounts. Yo. Actually, I actually forgot the biggest highlight. I think it was last year uh -huh. when... Um, I was doing here for DSTV, like there's an ad hey. for DSTV. Uh -huh. I love them. The who's and who's are the whole Africa came to Kenya to shoot it. Wow. So I was doing here for all of them and I met Nanandi, I had to do here for Nandi. I knew it! I <laughs> knew it! Kuna Pichaki is here for Instagram. <laughs> and I was asking, yeah. who's Nandi? And okay. uh, Jackie Apia, you're the actress. So I'm like, what? What? But any, anyway, I say everything. I, by the way, I'm very spiritual. So everything humbles me because I know it's not by my strength. I know it's God, purely. So, yeah, such moments make me, like, actually verify me, like, why I even started this? Like, why I'm here? Yes. <laughs> really, what do you want? <laughs> but anyway, we, we say the cake is big, you know? Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah, yeah everyone, yeah, very true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, what does... And every day, okay, no, what does a normal day for you look like? Do you wake up and, okay, family aside, yeah. you've taken care of yours, your household is running smoothly. Okay. How does the creative process work? Do you have to create something every day? Do you set yourself standards, amani per week? How do you work around um, it? Hmm. Um, my normal day, after kids and everything, I, I, go, I have a salon, Pambo Mel Studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's on Chebil Road, not far from where I live. So I go there. Sometimes I'm booked the whole day. I do bookings. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm booked the whole day. So there goes my creativeness. But I purpose every week to come up with something. Whether is it, it's a sketch, whether it's something I purpose to um, do something more. So even if I won't be able to do it that week, because sometimes I get very busy maybe with you know, shoots and everything, I have to create time to every week. I have to create something that it not necessarily mean I will post it every week, but I'll work on it towards, I'll work towards it, like eventually I do something with it. But yeah, that's my normal. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so we are about to give you a glimpse into her. Can we support? Pambo underscore Mel. Yes, support very quickly. She's famous, guys. It's wow. the only app I'm to She's famous. Are we together? Yeah, go follow her and, and check out her amazing awesomeness. Okay, so at the salon, you act as a hairdresser and stylist. Yeah. Did you always want to be this way? Like when you were growing up, me and Kyo Ndogo, I was very conflicted. I wanted to make my parents proud, but mm -hmm. I also wanted to do what I wanted to do. So I, I spent a lot of time doing things that I thought would make other people happy. By the time Lily land, I'm like, okay, this is what I want to do, and you will be fine. Are we together? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, is that something you always wanted to do? Um, me liko na tega to wakicheza kule fields. Ona primary vile yuko penye punishment. Liko mimi ni kisonga matuta kwa nyasi. Yeah, but I was still in school. I actually did business management oh. as a course. Yeah, I did business management. Um, and then I realized na fanya kazi Monday to Friday kwa ofisi, evening classes. I love Saturday na Sunday na fanya kazi kwa salon. Cause I just couldn't not i could not stay away from here i just couldn't so um with the time but i actually got into employment like i was in the corporate uh, world for some several not so many years but maybe three years and then i just after i got my first baby i just decided you know what i did an ad and then they paid me and i started the salon wow yeah i was like you know what this is it. This is my passion. This is what I want to do. But I didn't want to be like a normal, uh, like just normal hair. I actually wanted to be a testimony of how much hair can take you, how far hair can take you actually, because my targets are in Lubita Nyongo. Woo! Eh, uyo paka ni mshike nyweli. 
-hmm. Yeah. So, um, cause there's this, there's this notion that when you do hair, it maybe you didn't pass in school, like you didn't perform. I was just going to say that. If yeah. You yeah. DJ. DJ. Yeah. Their, yeah. <laughs> their careers that are, they're not perceived as important. So I'm like, lakini pia ukiangalia uta waonea, who, who has made it? For me, at least I had Corinne Mudone look up. That she I follows can't. her also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Corinne. Yeah, so for, I had to be, I just said, I want this hair thing to just not be a hair thing. Like, can I go far? Can someone grow up and maybe has this passion and see, ah, if Pambo Mel did it, I can do it or even more. Yeah, so I have to push the buttons. I have to go further. I respect these people such as yourself who wali I don't know how to say it. it's like basically breaking glass ceilings like you said you're going to do and you're going to do and you did and now yeah. we all want to be like you <laughs> now we are telling you I'm sorry I didn't believe in you I'm sorry I didn't think doing hair would get yeah. you to where I mean you have your own salon it's it's run you're making a living off it you know yeah. COVID or not you know mm -hmm. people want to look nice COVID mm -hmm. or not people yes the the gatherings are a bit smaller people are going having weddings and all yeah. these things so you're basically essential goods <laughs> Weirdly, women just love looking good. So Yo! Yeah. Ah, in fact, on that note, let us look at some of the women who are looking good on her Instagram. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay, so the, the first picture is you. Yeah, I think it's a bit lower. Like if you go uh -huh. to the other side, you'll see. Okay. When you <laughs> the Leona, this picture, the, the most recent one, I was like, eh. She looks so nice. Like, yes, you're beautiful, Sawa, okay, <laughs> but you actually look nice. Thank you. Like, inside. I don't know how I saw it on, on the Nini, <laughs> but she actually just looks like a nice person. Uh, you, you look like you'd make a very, very good friend. <laughs> Maze. Yes, I would. Yeah? Yes, yes. You have a vibe. Yes. <laughs> so, as you continue. That's my daughter. Oh, my gosh, she's so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what's her name? Milan. She looks like royalty. Oh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> Free model, man. Free model. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wait. But I watch so many things today. I don't know what's happening. I'm just all over the place. So tell me how you created that look on your daughter. That, does it match her personality? Because she looks kind of fierce. Yeah, she is. She's a, she's a courageous girl. Mm -hmm. That one, I'll tell you. Like, and then she likes the beauty thing. I tried to actually minimize it because you know, I'm like, you have to study. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, uh, what inspired me, she's my skin just like pearls. I know she's not like melanin, but <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, I want something that actually matches her personality. Yeah, she's bubbly, she's fierce. So yeah, I did that. Mm, that one yeah. you cannot Auntie just disappoint. Just hey, look at her. <laughs> Na kona to pose. She's not <laughs> even shy at yeah, all. Yeah, she's not shy. <laughs> hey, mama mm. nani. Good job. Thank you. Not stay meet, but good job. Good. Looks <laughs> Thank you. Hey. All right. Mm. So how long did it? Ooh, that's uh, Jessica Rabbit. Mm. I created Jessica Rabbit back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, those are braids. The Abuja braids. What? Nikazi stigma gum gel, gum glue, <gasps> spirit gum. Yeah, spirit gum. <laughs> those are braids. That's not a wig. That's not. Most people thought it was a wig. It I wasn't. Because was if I did a wig, then it meant I didn't create. Yeah, did. Mana She She actually she had shaved. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so when you go look at Jessica Rabbit, um, I realized most people didn't get the concept of it. You have to go to Jessica Rabbit back in the day, and then now I did now a replica of it. Eh. Hey. All right. How long did <laughs> that take? How long did creating that take? Creating that take that took I think an hour. An what? hour for an everything. Hour. Me, I'm waiting yeah. to hear a day. That no. does not look easy. No. <laughs> also, or oh, that one. <laughs> That one took. Woo! Who is that? That's Grisel. Anaka vizuri. Anaka poa. Sana. <laughs> so she had dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. So I had to work around the dreadlocks she had and create something African. So I wanted her to have the African vibe going on. We. Na makonge nka mionga na makonge kwa kwa shingo. Na safety pins. Safety pins in our Pokomo. My mom is Pokomo. Uh -huh. So in our Pokomo culture, I realized so many people use safety pins, so I actually wanted to incorporate that. Like, yeah. Sasa, so, so, <laughs> what? 
Wait, okay. My heart is just having palpitations. Oh, shall I imagine quicker safety pin kwanyuele guys ever ever ever. All right, so here we have a group type gathering yeah. and I I initially asked you, I'm sorry I didn't do this on air, but I did ask you if if hair is like music that it has themes and I can tell. You can tell, yeah. Yeah, I can just tell. I can just tell it. Yeah. I can tell what's what's going on on the red side. Mm. It has a different kind of vibe. <laughs> I can tell um with the dreadlocks and the pins. And tell me about this the look on this the other jasmine. side. Jasmine. Yeah. That was uh, jasmine from uh -huh. Aladdin. And that's why we had to get pants that look Arabic and you know. All right. Yeah, and we, the, uh, uh, hair, like when you do hair, this is what I tell the, even when I'm making brides, like show me your gown, not because of anything, it's because I need to know the hair piece we are going to use, is it pearly, is it, okay, your hair, your dress, does it have crystals, does it have pearls, because I have to match it with your, the personality that comes from the dress, I need to match it up with the hair, so it's not about you bringing me a style that sometimes you look too much, the, the, you want the hair flowing down, your gown is, um, the neck, like the neck goes up, so you look like too much. So I have to see your dress and then now I work around it, the hair. That's how you know someone is good. <laughs> that just guess if, if, you're not, if you need a secret, just even a city, that's how you know someone is good. They don't just, you don't give them something to do, they, they, they take everything into consideration, you that know. That would be perfect. Meanwhile, kuna mtu wako na cabaret flani hapa, and she's also very beautiful, and I'd like her to come on set if that's okay with you. <laughs> Join us, sweetie. Oh, it's and a court. Hi, a court. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Nasikia ku high five, but COVID, <laughs> I just want you to stand right there. Uh, first, who dressed you? Unakaa vizuri. Niwewe? Yeah. Unakaa kwa Tell me about what's going on with her hair, and it looks so good, so very, very good. Um, hmm. So now, um, a cut has natural hair, mm -hmm. so this style can be achieved with braids, normal braids, but now if I use braids, then the texture of her hair and the braid, very different, the Abuja braids, very different. So I had to look for something that looks a bit African, a bit um, the texture-wise, um, and create. I actually do not know the name of this, it's just I used earrings. <laughs> what? These are, these are loops. These are... So kubwa. Zile kubwa. And then, yeah, so as I said before, you. I felt like I, sh I could have done more. Guy, I've been <laughs> I could have done more. Oh it's my god, Abu first, I had to take come. this mic and tell us how fabulous you feel because you look great. How do you feel with that? Uh, I feel sure. You never quite impress Flani. Let me not even lie to you. And, and I won't tell you this because I've had a similar type hairstyle before. Okay. Now, but see at EV, sex EV, but it too just randomly EV. I love how can you get extension. Okay. But after like a few hours, unona, I, my hair is this kind of black, but in Guinea, high care your type of black. So it looks so off, oh, so even, off. Yeah, yeah. even from far away. Yeah. How did you, how do you even have this eye? Because it's an eye. How? <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's just knowing what you want delivered. Ka like right now, mm. um, this hair uh, wasn't in like number two. Her mm. hair is number two. You have to know first they had your hair color. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just creating an illusion that even if someone sees her from afar or front, the difference is not too much. Like mm -hmm. the textures are not too far away from each other. Mm -hmm. Like I was just trying to work around that. Yeah. How do you feel about the bottle, Daniel? I feel gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You should. You, are, you, you really look good. And she's here Thank saying you. she could have done enough. How yeah, do you feel about that? Yeah, she knows that. Ah, what's yeah. your favorite experience with Pambo Mel? Oh, she's lovely. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's loving and caring. Yeah, and creative <laughs> and okay. talented. One person be so blessed. <laughs> like you guys are just a lot. Hey, I aspire to <laughs> be you guys <laughs> right now. Okay, do you model for her often? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's and your any, any time she has like a hair shoot, mostly she, I work with her, mm -hmm. yeah. Or like closely in the yeah. salon or is it? Either, everywhere. Hey, <laughs> so you guys are not just partners and yes, friends? Yes, yes. Oh, that's yeah. good, that's good. Just tell me, just tell me how is it working with Pambo Mel? Is she this bubbly all the time? Yeah, she, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. No? She's not, is she a perfectionist? 
Yeah, she is. She sounds a bit, but that's again how you know someone is good. And I like where smart, smart. <laughs> if you could describe her in a sentence, what would you say? Hakuna <laughs> mm. Okay, okay. Then mm -hmm. <laughs> beautiful now. inside and out. Oh, yeah. Imagine I agree. I've, I've never <laughs> five <laughs> seconds, and I agree. I agree with you. What's your favorite thing about her? Describe about her in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> in a sentence. <laughs> Professional, beautiful, um, kind, very mm -hmm. kind. Yeah. Thank you. I need you guys. To <laughs> I've been meaning to shop for new friends now. It's time. It's time. I think I come, come, money. come in. Come join us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just want, just maybe. I know this is a bit cliche, but I want them to understand that we can be three ladies on a set. Na kuna moya no ne mungine wevo. Akuna moya jaribu kum. You know. Like we can all live and we can all thrive and we can all be good at what we do. Yeah. Cindy, yeah? yeah. 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 encourage a girl child to first off there. Girl child. Who? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> encourage a girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If if you have something to do, I encourage you to, to like go for it and work hard towards it, to achieve it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, before we're going to finish with you encouraging a girl child, <laughs> but before we do that, thank you so very much, Sidi, for coming. Thank <laughs> you. Guys, catch, catch the, the, the outfit too. Yeah! Nige kwa tuna DJ, walai, tukia mpigia kele, le. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, so maybe something that we have not seen is gentlemen on your page. Do you... Yeah do guys I'm a guys don't have things <laughs> to be done for <laughs> oh, um, um, I do baby locks I played oh I have two pages there's another one Pambo Mel mm -hmm. Pambo underscore Mel under, underscore studio mm -hmm. so that is where I put my work so yeah I have guys that I played you know mm -hmm. from university students that like to look chic mm -hmm. banner boyish Ooh. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so I make them and then also guys it's um they're not comfortable being posted much. Why? Yeah. I don't know, but yeah. On a scale shy? Maybe. Because I don't know what to do. Like, okay, I just need your head. Like, or a to do. So I do lines for guys. I do dreadlocks for them. Mm -hmm. I do several stuff. No, on the other page of Pambo Mel, Pambo underscore Mel underscore studio. If I wanted to lock my hair, would I, could I come to you? Yes, please. You're my new best friend. We are going to do a virginity annually. You're going to lock it for the first time. Yes, we are going to do a I will say, are you expensive? Just asking. No, imagine I'm, I'm very affordable. Actually, what you need to tell why I'm that affordable. Like, you know, like, uh -huh. yeah, you know, like, I mean, no, you no, know, you have to hike in your price a bit more. And then others feel like, it's that much, but at least when I tell someone the price, because also I normally give a price that when I go to someone else's salon and I'm told that's the price I need to pay according to the service, I will not feel like you've exploited me. So I normally have a, a rate that is also me, I'm comfortable. Yeah. 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 Even someone can come with um, maybe a, a certain service is 1500 and I have. And you have a thousand bob. And Dominic, you me and Isenze Kusonga Vitundogo Apo, Alafu Nateta Kwa Kichuchangu. I'll just tell you, okay, I know you wanted this, but can I add si the size a bit so that we meet halfway? You'll get the service, but we'll meet halfway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Who is your clientele? Is it the who, who's who of, of no. this life? Amata, Rayaka, Mimi, Tunaza Kuja, Pole Pole. I don't have like, okay, my clients are from way back when, when I had nothing, when I was in Pamumel, when I was just Melissa. So they've held my hand, they've, they've held my hand properly, actually. Um, they're normal, working people. Most of my client bills, bills like 70% are corporate, yeah, office people. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> what do they want, actually? It, very lines simple you, things. Uh -huh. Very simple things. Ghanians, others are cre others like want the creative side of it. Others just what you are to a kind of where they are very simple. Mm. Lines, um, funny retouch, like very simple things. Mm. Mm. a job, na hairstyle. You have a lot of money. <laughs> I'm paying you a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so in conclusion, what mm. if someone out there, the way you started your business, the way you started your career, because it's a whole yeah. career, no? yeah. it's, an, it's a job in a career. How would you like to encourage someone who's maybe trying something new, but come away to a machine look to have, like whether they go corporate, no matter what they do, they still just go back to their first love. How would you like to encourage them? Um, what I'd like to say is passion. I believe passion is the one thing that takes you far in life. Um, follow your passion because no matter how much you run away from it, it'll still be knocking at your door. So follow your passion. Do not think about who has made it. You might be the first person who will make that passion, you know, come to life in a very profound way. So just do it. And I won't say it's going to be easy. I won't say, I won't promise anyone it's going to be easy. Because me at Anlibi was alone and I started all over again <gasps> with a comb. So it's not going to be easy. Mm. It's not going to be easy. But when you have that vision and when you know in your heart that this is what I want, you can overcome anything. Mm. And it's that moment that you overcome that you realize that like, yeah, I actually have done it. But when you're scared, like, Something small happens, you're like, ah, it's not for me, then you'll never, you'll never execute it. You'll just, so follow your passion. And others, I'm not saying even talent is passion, that's what I say. There are people who work in offices, and that's their passion. Like, that's their passion. Like, managing a, a boss, you know, being mm. a PA to something, like, that's a passion they have. So just do it to your, to, to your do it with excellence, yeah? Uh, when you put everything into it, it's going to repay back, it's going to pay you back. Today on our social media handles, that is at White Fair on Facebook, <laughs> White Fair for channel on Twitter, we are asking people, when is it, unafkawapi muishondo give up? When when is it okay to give up? When have you been beaten by life enough or circumstance or when is it okay to say, you know what, I'm done? I don't think we should reach that place. Why? Yeah. Right? But yeah, I know, uh, we are human. We get to those places that you're like, you know what, I've reached there several times. But again, you, you remind yourself why you started in the first place. And then you remind yourself why you started. You're going to make a, a good decision and a good choice. Um, but as long as you have given it, your 100%, like 100%, 100 over 100%, you've tried this. It didn't work. You tried this, you tried, like, as long as you have tried everything. I won't say then you'll give up on <laughs> that, but you shouldn't. Try. This one comes and you feel like it's not working. Try something else. L like, try. Even when you read the people who have made it and everything, they didn't not just quit when things got hard. They, they, they you know, soldier on. How do you... Interview, okay. <laughs> How do you deal with burnout? Because it can be very easy. And I guess that's why people want to give up because you, you've put and put and put and you feel like you don't have any energy or any strength to give anymore. How do you deal with burnout? <laughs> um, that's, that's actually funny because I keep on complaining to my sister. Me, me joker, me joker, my best friend, me joker. Because um, now, let me do a... Wake up Mondays, um, I cook Wednesdays and Fridays, and I, I have to be at the salon, and sometimes I have shoots, and so my day is crazy, normally. Um, and then let's go pick a Friday, I could rock us, you moja to pick it. Now, I'm going to prepare it to prepare it to shachoka. Mm. At the same time, you're supposed to also have your, the salon bit of it not disappear in, in the process. Mm. So sometimes you reach a client, you're, you're tired, but you can't. So you, I burn out, like so many times I'm fatigued. So Sunday, I have dedicated it. I'm not moving an inch. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Sunday is my day to be a mom. I to can rest. relate. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. like I, I don't compromise my Sundays. Like I have to rest it Sunday. I have to. Whether a client is, okay, unless you have a job, you have to do it. <coughs> Dala! Like, yeah, we are Woo! doing this, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> but normal clients, like, they actually respect it. Like, yeah, Sunday mail doesn't work. Because it's my only day that I have to sleep as long as I want rest, yeah. Mm. Which is normally hard because now you have to be a mom on Sunday. Mm. But, yeah. 
<laughs> I aspire to your level of greatness, <laughs> not only in what you're doing in your career, Amen. but how you're managing your family. Thank like you. I asked, and you have like a friend who can certifiably say yeah. that you're wonderful <laughs> also on the inside. So, hey, thank you, Manzi. I'm so you're glad welcome. I met you. I'm thank so you. glad I met both of you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you for well, having me. You can watch White Fefo I told you. I told you. Sana sana when the morning, I told you we are late. All right, one more time, please give us your social media handle so we can follow you. Okay, my... I think I'll break it down this way. Um, for the commercial bit of it, what I do, commercial modeling, so that I get jobs. And uh, I use my official page, pambo underscore mel. And um, for work, the salon bit of it, I use pambo underscore mel underscore studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you so very You're much. You're welcome. Thank ah. you for having us. Nam Kinyona Nikislena very soon on my Instagram. Also me, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm going to know more to see what it is. At Wi-Fi on Facebook, Wi-Fi for channel on Twitter, hashtag is one in the morning. Please don't go away. Like I said, it's not over until around 10 a.m. Stay wise.